Hello, welcome to this DCS AH64D tutorial. In this video we will cover navigation as far as setting a waypoint, utilizing that waypoint to set a direct to route, and reading the map. To begin with, let's go ahead and open up our TSD which is utilized for navigation. Here we can see our helicopter and a variety of options going around the screen. I will walk you through setting a waypoint on a desired location and then setting a direct to. The direct to is this home plate symbol that we want to go to. So if I set a direct to on a waypoint somewhere out here, the home plate would change and be over top of the waypoint that I wish to go to. All right, let's begin. So first we need to figure out where we want to go. Let's say we want to go to this grouping of units over here. The default F10 map is in an alt view, whereas our in-plane map is in a map view. So to match them up, we will click the map button covered in the map tutorial. The displays still do not line up completely because we have a zoomed out view in our map and a zoomed in view in our helicopter. So I will zoom in. And now this looks like the same kind of view that our helicopter has. So I'm going to look for a landmark. In this case, this town of Gavabrati, G-V-A-B-R-A-T-I, and I'm going to look for that in our in-plane map. To do that, we will move our HOCAS controller cursor to the right-hand display. We can move it with our HOCAS controls that we have bound, move it to the edge of the display, and then double tap in the direction of the display we want to go to. So if I'm over here, I will double tap right, and now it is over on the right hand page. The first thing we want to do is select the map option on push button B4. Pressing this will give us an option over on R5 that says Orient. We will click this button and choose North Up on R6. This will allow our map to be maintained in a north up orientation to make it easier to use in conjunction with our F10 map. You see that if we move our cursor, our map is still stationary. So let's go ahead and reselect map to close out that option menu. Map was on B4. From here, we can go to the T2 option that says pan to be allowed to pan the map. You will see our cursor goes away and now when we move we have the ability to pan the map around. So I'm going to pan over to the right and look for Gavabradi. Alrighty, the city we're looking for as a landmark is right here. So at this point I will hit my cursor enter depress. Now you see, after pressing depress on your cursor, the click function, the map is locked in place and we have our cursor back. Any of these options around the sides of your displays can be clicked with your cursor rather than actually pressing the push buttons. I will be referencing the push buttons in this tutorial so you know where to look, but you can just move your cursor and click the buttons. Utilizing the cursor is effectively, is especially effective during flight operations where you won't be able to take your hand off of your stick to start pressing buttons. Now that we have panned over to our landmark, we will choose the point option down on B6. We will click and then we will move to the point option up at L1. Click 
and you will see W and a number is now boxed. These points that we are adding are waypoints. So we will hit add and move the cursor over where we want our waypoint. In this case, the town of Gavabrati. When my cursor is where I want my waypoint, I will hit the cursor depress click. Now I've placed a waypoint at this town. I can go ahead and close out the point menu on B6 and we are back to the normal map. Now that we have set a waypoint, we need to tell the aircraft that we want to fly there directly. So to set a direct to, we will come down to push button B5, RTE, click, and then on L5, where it says DIR for direct, we will click direct. Move our cursor over the waypoint we want to go directly to, and click again. You will now see a green line that is coming directly between our aircraft and our direct to waypoint. Additionally, our home plate has now moved over to where we have just set this direct to waypoint. So if we wanted to head over to those targets, all we would need to do is fly to the home plate. To get our map back to normal, I will deselect route and on R4 on the side we will see FRZ freeze is boxed. We will click it to unbox it and now our map is back to normal. If you wish you can go back into the map option and change your orientation on R5 to whatever is convenient to you as you fly. I will leave it as north up because I will make another waypoint to show as an example once again, but I will move a little bit faster this time. Let's say I want to go to this airfield, Sukumi. So I will look for landmark on the map. I see Babu Shara and the airfield symbol, so that is what I'm going to look for along the coast. Going to move to pan. I can zoom in or out utilizing these arrows. And here is Sukumi. We can verify utilizing landmarks on the F-10 map. We see the 3-1 Sukumi Dranda. We see this splotch here and the structure of the roads and again Dranda. We can see all of that here. Now that I can click, stop panning my map, hit point, add, I'll put it right on the airfield. We now have waypoint 6, I will come down to root, direct, 6, turn off root, turn off freeze. And now I have a direct to at that airfield and my home plate has changed 
to that location. I'll do this one more time. Let's say we wanted to mark where this convoy is. I will look for a landmark. In this case, this town. Z-U-G-D-I-D-I. -I. And when I zoom in, it will look like this. And I know the convoy is to the southeast. I will go to pan. I'm going to zoom out. Here's that location on the map. C-U-G-D-I-D-I -I, and that town. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in again. Now I know I'm in the general area. And I know the convoy is between this triangle and this splotch. Here's the triangle, here's the splotch, so I know the convoy is somewhere in here. I will go ahead and click. Point. Add. About where the convoy is. Root, direct, select the waypoint, close root, unfreeze the map. And now we have a direct to waypoint where that convoy is for us to fly to. I will cover more advanced uses of the map and navigation functions in a future tutorial video. But this is all you'll need to use most of the time, especially as you're learning. This will get you where you need to be in a quick, effective manner. And this can be utilized while you are flying. Thanks for watching.